Hello and welcome. Sildre is here with Overwatch. Now I started, well, essentially started making my Overwatch videos with Diva gameplay, and it's time to finally revisit her. In well, after I've gotten more and more comfortable with the game. So let's play some Diva. No matter what the opposition is, play this one particular hero because I still need to learn to play her and get to, you know, get better at all of this stuff. This is one of the aspects I really, really enjoy about D.Va. The fact that even if you end up losing your first, essentially, first life, you lose your mech, you still run around and can shoot people. I'm not very good shot with this thing, but I, you can still do that. So I can at least uh, try to do a little bit of damage here and there, but of course uh, going face to face to uh, against Tracer usually ends up in your death, as is the case here as well for me. So there is that. I was trying to get rid of the Zarya because uh, I find her a bigger threat overall than Tracer. Tracer is easy to easier to force away because of her lower health pool. And nicely enough, somebody managed to contest the objective for a bit, but I was all pretty much expecting this to be the case, uh, as in they get objective A and we have to defend B. People pushed maybe a little too hard, because if the enemy team was in a rush, um, in, in like real hurry, they could have tried to push objective B now without waiting for, you know, uh, my team to actually respawn. So there is that. Uh, Pre-firing corners is really difficult on D.Va. Something I have figured out over the uh, over time. Uh, because frankly, uh, her movement speed just goes to s snail pace while she's shooting. So it's quite hard to actually, you know, pre-fire corners. Uh, you know, poke around the corner while while already firing. Try not to fire too much at this area while she has her shield up. So that is that. And well, let's help out the Winston in eliminating pesky, uh, pesky people who are trying to flank us. Put some more uh, shots on this area. But uh, this is another thing I don't want to do. I don't want to pull too much uh, back from the objective or like rush the enemy rush essentially. I don't see the point in that. Uh, because if we do a mistake, if uh, too many of us are out there, you know, trying to fight the couple of folks they have on their rear or, or whatnot, and somebody sneaks up, a couple of people sneak up, kill the defenders on the point, and absolutely just, you know, cap the place, like is happening here. A couple of guys are just sitting on the point, trying to cap it. And if we had done the whole, like, you know, rush, the enemy rush, that might have been a lost game right then and there for us, so I'm gonna grab that, uh, that thing. I'm getting shot by uh, somebody somewhere. Oh well, oh well. Very nice harmony orb timing and all that good stuff. I'm gonna poke around this side, get, get a little bit of vision, shoot things, and then just go back here because, well, I am kind of a tank as well. Let's uh, help do stuff. Help keep the enemies away from the objective. That's the main course of action for actually winning the game after all. So now I'm gonna uh, chase a little bit because the uh, the the the, the, the uh, blinky girl went really really hard. So I wanted to uh, ensure the, her safety as well as everything else. Uh, I didn't do lose my mech here. That's fine. And I actually uh, well lose my mech. But instantly get the new mech, which is good, well, absolutely phenomenal to get the, the new mech right away. So essentially lost basically nothing there. Uh, a little bit of time, but uh, not much else. There is the this guy, and uh, let's uh, see if we can deal uh, deal with the Bastion. There you have it, one dead Bastion with uh, Diva mech and all that good stuff. I'm gonna go back here, sorry, but I was just out there. No mind me, I'm running around. You know, because that's what you can do as Diva. Uh, of course, uh, going against Widowmaker, not quite as easy, but Look at this, hello! And I very much doubt you are the real faker, so there is that. 
And uh, then uh, there was a Genji who really wanted me that so badly that he was willing to die for, you know, destroying my mech. I am kind of okay with that trade, in all honesty. Yes, that means we are keeping a point more secure. And, well, now I don't have to run around a little bit without a mech. But I can still at least run around while the Genji is dead. And that, you know, stops their push quite a bit, actually. So, yeah, I'm playing real offensive uh, point here. Um, because my team pushed up so far. And so we are now kind of losing folks. Who are very much far out there. And I am quite alone. Well, not entirely alone, but quite alone defending the actual objective. This is where, like, the double tracer on the objective would probably have won them the game. Right then and there. Probably. Possibly. Something along those lines. And now, let's get me my new mech. There we go. Let's get that new mech right away. Get a little bit of damage in. And there is a, wow, instant death on the mech. No idea what actually killed the mech that fast, but it uh, it happened. So yeah, let's uh, let's poke shots in this guy's shield. Uh, that's a good way to get some extra extra uh, health on the, on this. Uh, not well, not health, but uh, extra percentage towards the next mech. Just deal damage to things. Hello, Widowmaker. Uh, you're you're welcome. Uh, I need two, and there we go. Another mech. Another, another mech. So, getting those mechs, trying to stay alive between those uh, mech respawns, kind of important, something I have real, really, really realized and gotten very, well, gotten to appreciate very much the possibilities you can, you have with D.Va, with that, you know, stay alive, you can still do things, you can deal, still do damage. The gun she has outside of the mech still does surprising amount of damage. And the shotgun is really good at getting rid of the Reinhardt shield. So uh, I will gladly shoot at that. I do not have to reload ever. So I will absolutely shoot at that. And yep, you pin me down. That's okay. We'll come here and have an exploding mech right at the front there. Which, which actually killed the enemy, you know, Hansel. So I don't think he was playing Hanzo anymore. I'm actually not sure, but still, uh, the name is anyway uh, kind of telling of the hero you he was likely playing. Anyways, anyways, poke around the corner, shoot some shotguns at the doorway. Why the heck not? Infinite ammo and no need to reload, which is kind of kind of strong at these kind of uh, situations. Oh, overall, I r have gotten really comf comfy with D.Va, I quite like her still, and then, well, D.Va versus Bastion. Not really that big of a contest, especially when the Bastion is just trying to run away. Uh, offensive Bastion is kind of interesting choice anyways. Uh, to bring around, doesn't matter that much, let's just poke a shot into that shield, because that's what I do. You know, because, well... As I mentioned, uh, just shoot at the shield. It will, it breaks. And then there is a Hanzo. Okay. Hello, Hanzo. Yeah, it's a dead Hanzo. Yeah. Alright, and people are going into our objective and then uh, chase down everybody and do all the crazy business. And hello, Mr. Bastion. Yep. Uh, Diva really really good at hunting Bastion. I have found at least I have found that out uh, over time Or rather I have gotten pretty good at hunting Bastions uh, With Diva, but that might just be me Doing fairly well against Bastions in general with this particular hero. Well, hello there uh, Please shoot some more of those at me. I'm gonna poke some at that shield. I'm not afraid of shooting at it Granted at this range uh, don't do all that much damage to it, but, well, hello, hello, have, have my mech, I'm gonna finally die, but somebody died at the same time, so, essentially, at least a one-on-one -on -one trade there, so there is that, that damn thing has such a massive reach on it though, but we basically almost lost the point there, and get in here, drop an exploding mech, and run away, right, run away, get a brand new mech, and that's where I make a mistake. So I came around the corner 
to uh, drop my mech and I actually thought the mech would stop that shot. Like when I pull it down that it would stop that shot from coming in. So I uh, lost my uh, ultimate charge and I lost my mech. But let's get on to the objective uh, to, you know, get, uh, get rid of stuff and try to, try to uh, contest, keep it contested so we don't lose the game. Very, very important to do, do that. Traded myself for somebody. There is that, uh, that thing and then try and get there again so we don't lose. And indeed, it is a victory. Play of the game. Helden sterben nicht. <laughs> 